So there's this man that complains about his wife. He said, I let her go to work. And once she started to go to work, I started to see changes. I wonder what's happening. But I, I thought, okay, maybe she is stressed out. Maybe she is stressed out. And I, I give her time until suddenly one time she comes and she asks for divorce. Why is it that women, when they start to work, they change? What's happening there? She starts to think that the biggest mistake she made in her life was to marry that man at home. Because he is nowhere close to how kind and how polite and how gentleman this man at work is. These kind of comparisons makes the woman gradually changing. Whether she wants or she doesn't want, she will gradually change. The man will start to notice a lot of changes on the woman. And he will not be able to think about the real reason that she's having these changes. And the woman can't control it. Especially if the woman before marriage, she was a stay-at-home lady. And she went to work only after marriage. This is a dangerous situation. And there is a story related to this topic. I'm not sure if it's real or not. But there is a lesson that we can extract from. There was this woman who went to work. And she was speaking with a man there and she started to feel some kind of attraction towards him and she's a married woman. And so after a few months of interacting with the man, the man told her that if she would get divorced, he will marry her. And so the woman being irrational, she asked for divorce and left the man. And when she, when she came to, to the man that she, she fell for at work, she told him that she got divorced. I'm not di divorced, you can marry me, as you, as you said. Isn't that what you said? The man started laughing. Really? Did you? I, I was I was joking with you. Did you really go for it? Imagine. And then he told her, "No, uh, I was kidding. I think that you are not a good wife, neither for me, neither for any man. If you go and ask a divorce just because another man told you to do so, you are you are not a good fit for any man. And this is a good lesson for for any woman out there who compare people they mingle with, men they mingle with." With the, with the men they have at home. And I will link a video at the end of this video that will explain to you how, how things work. You're more attracted to the idea of the person. You're not attracted to the person himself. And this is where many women get things wrong. You sacrifice the permanent for the temporary. You sacrifice the people who love you for the people who are just being politically correct with you. With the people who are just being diplomatic. With the people who are pursuing their self-interest. And because you are emotional, you make huge mistakes. And so, if you decide to work while you're married, try to work in places where you will not mingle with other men. You will not be mixed with other men. In offices or whatever the place might be. Try to work with women. Try to work with kids. Or, if you will work with men, know that men will embody characteristics and will display a face that is not real that is not their true selves and this is a face that we put in the workplace to get along with people and especially if it's the the opposite gender let me not say opposite gender because there is too many gender now especially w when it is with women a man will be more respectful, will be more of a gentleman with you than he is with his wife. So you have to keep this in mind. And this is one of the big reasons why we say no male friends. Because this can ruin relationships. This can ruin real relationships, real marriages. This can ruin families. You can have kids and ask for divorce because you are following something and you're, you're following fantasies you have about a man who's being kind and polite with you and you will destroy the life of your kids you will destroy your own life and you will leave a man who loves you and who who take care of you for for this man that you met in the park so you have to be very very careful about these things if you are able to stay at home believe me you are better off staying at home western propaganda during the cold war they used to have in newspapers articles about how uh, the uh, the communists are using women how they are in the in in the factory working there and and they would used to compare her with the housewife the american housewife and the luxury life she lives 
because she's she's a stay at home wife. And now it is the opposite. You are perceived as the poor girl if you stay at home. You should always thank God if you can afford to stay at home. It's a blessing. I look at women who work. I could see in their face they are stressed. They, they, they lose their feminine energy as well because they interact with a lot of people and they cannot be women when they get at home. And even if they get at home, it's understandable. They don't have the energy to be women. They don't have the energy. They don't have the... They lose the caring side, the feminine side of them when they get back home. So if you can't afford to stay at home, then stay at home and don't believe anyone who's trying to convince you that they live a better life because they, they, they are working. Trust me, they, they, you, you have a better life than them. And don't care, even if they have a better life. Thank God that you are, you are a stay at home and that you, you, you have the ability to maintain your feminine energy, to remain a wife, a caring wife, a caring woman, uh, and pour all this energy to your, to your family and to your, to your husband and to your kids. I hope that made sense. I will leave you with that and I will see you in the future one.